Welcome. Most everyone is familiar with the sequence of Fibonacci numbers that goes 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, 21, 34, 55, and so on. Each number in the sequence is the sum of the previous two terms. For example, 2 plus 3 gives the next term 5. 3 plus 5 is 8. 5 plus 8 is 13. Uh, there's so much information about the Fibonacci numbers out there, so if you just int search on the internet for this sequence of numbers, you'll find gobs and gobs of material that will just astound you. But there are two particular puzzles that astound me, which are seen to be related to the Fibonacci number. So in this, Fibonacci, so in this uh, video, I'd like to give you these two puzzles. I'll just state them here, and in my next video, I'll actually give the answers away. So this is a video of just uh, two puzzle statements. Okay, first puzzle. My first puzzle is about a very strange language, which I call the language of a Bieber. And in this language, there's only three letters of the alphabet ever used, A, B, and E. And most any combination of those three letters is indeed a word in this language, except there's one rule. You may never have an E immediately following an A. So A followed by A, then E is not allowed. Otherwise, every other combination of letters is fine. For example, A, B, E, E, A is a word in a Bieber, and A, B, 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 A, E, I'm afraid with that, well, put a B on the end for the front, is not. I have an AE combination there. So my question is, can we count the number of N letter words in a Bieber? For example, how many one letter words are there in this language? Well, one letter words, I could have the letter A by itself, I could have the B by itself, I could have the letter E by itself. So there's three one letter words in a Bieber. Two letter words. Well, I could have AA, I can have AB, but I can't have AE. That's the only thing that's not allowed. Uh, but I could have BA, BB, BE, or EA, EB, or EE. So, apart from that one restriction, I now have eight two-letter words in the language of Bieber. You can see that. How many three-letter words? Now things get a bit tedious. I'm not going to go through it here, I don't want to run out of time, but you can check there's actually, uh, let's see, going to be 21 three-letter words in the language of Bieber. And this is surprising. Look at the numbers, 3, 8, 21. Here's 3, here's 8, and here's 21. So you really should verify that I've got this correct. Because that makes me wonder, how many four-letter words are there? Is it really going to be 55? So my puzzle is, is the number of n-letter words, I'll call this an in the language of a Bieber, every second Fibonacci number? And if so, why? All right, that's puzzle number one. The language of a Bieber. Is it really every second Fibonacci number? Puzzle number two. Now, there's been a great breakthrough in the study of partition numbers recently, and I'd like to do a puzzle related to those. So uh, I'm going to talk about what's ordered partitions. And what I mean by, first of all, a partition, I need my pen back, is the number three. How many ways can I write as three as a sum of small, less than or equal numbers to three? For example, I could write it as two plus one. And if order is considered important, I could consider that distinct from one plus two. So there's two different ordered partitions of the number three. I could also write one plus one plus one, or I could also just write three by itself. So there are four ways to partition the number three. Now in my puzzle, I'm going to imagine there's actually two different ways to write the number one. Now maybe I want to use like a red pen and a blue pen, but rather than have me switch pens on the screen all the time and get very confused, I'll say there's an, an upper one, which I'll put a little bar on top, and there's a lower type of one. So imagine there's like red and green or something. So now I'm going to ask, how many ordered partitions are there at the number three if I've got two different types of one at my disposal? All right, so I can basically copy the answers I had before, but I'm going to have more options. Here goes. I can certainly have, whoops, where's my pen gone? Two plus one using the upper one, but I could also have two plus one using the lower one. I could have one plus two using the upper one, or I could have one plus two using the lower one. I still have the number three still. And then I've got this one, one plus one plus one. Here goes, lots of options. I can make them all lower. I could make one of them upper, in which case I've got some choices here. Make the middle one upper, or make the first one upper. Or I could make two of them upper. Uh-oh, it's getting a bit boring. Or I could make all three upper. So what's that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, plus nine, 10, 11, 12, 13 ways to to partition the number three if there's two different types of one at my disposal. Uh, let's do an easy example. How many ways to partition number two? Well, I could just write two all by itself, or I could write one plus one, but actually I could do one with both lowers, one with both uppers, or one of each. So actually it looks like there's now five ways to partition the number two. 
Uh, this is a little bit easier. How many ways to petition number one? Well, I can only write one. We could either be an upper one or it could be a lower one. So there's actually two ways to petition number two. But look what's going on. Here's the number two. Here's the number five. Here's the number 13, which makes me wonder how many ordered partitions are there of the number four using two different types of one? Is it 34? In fact, if P of N represents the number of ordered partitions of the number N with two different types of one, am I again getting every second Fibonacci number? But this time it was the other set of Fibonacci's from the previous Abiba puzzle. So that's it. They're my two puzzles. Do these two particular puzzles, Abiba and ordered partitions with two different types of one, actually give me the Fibonacci numbers intertwined, every alternating Fibonacci number one for each set of puzzle? Think about that. In my next video, I'll give away the answers and I'll give a, a, give a what I think is a, just a beautiful way to just deal with both these puzzles in one simple hit. Lots of fun. So play with this for a while and then watch the answer video. Thanks very much.